So it's only half eight in the morning and my old face has not woken up yet, but I have great news for anyone who has an AMD motherboard. AMD have announced a fix to the ongoing USB connection and Gen 4 issue that myself and many of you have been experiencing. Kudos to Chilinobi who let me know about this an hour ago and he said AMD just announced in its subreddit that the next, I guess, a BIOS update will fix the USB issue and it's scheduled for April. So kudos to Chilinobi. This happened last night. This announcement happened last night, so I missed it. So the announcement, AMD say, we would like to thank the community here on RAMD for its assistance with logs and reports as we investigated the intermittent USB connectivity you highlighted. With your help, we believe we have isolated the root cause and developed a solution that addresses a range of reported symptoms, including USB port dropout, USB 2.0 audio crackling, and USB PCI Express Gen 4 explosion. And I have experienced all of that. AMD has prepared a GESA 1.2.0.2, which I'll just call the AGESA update at this point, to deploy this update. And we plan to distribute 1.2.0.2, that's such a mouthful, to our motherboard partners for integration in about a week. Customers can expect downloadable BIOSes containing the new AGESA update to begin with better updates in early April. The exact update schedule for your system will depend on the test and implementation schedule for your vendor and specific motherboard model, i.e. you have to rely on Gigabyte, MSI, ASUS, etc. If you continue to experience intermittent USB connect connectivity issues after updating your system to a new update, we encourage you to download the standalone AMD bug report tool and open a ticket with AMD customer report. Okay, so, it looks like we are getting close to the end here. I'm confident that we are here. There might be some issues for some people, um, but it looks like AMD have resolved this issue. And finally, we can actually use our computers in the way that we should have been using them for months. And I'm really pleased about this update. I'm really pleased about this update because I've had no, no shortage of headaches because of this over the last few months. And I've spent days, days on this trying to fix this. And I must admit, I'm not a negative person. I'm really not a negative person, but I did lose hope along the way because even before I experienced this issue, there were reports of this going back months. I just hadn't read about it. And then I spent a good five or six weeks before I even did a video about it. And then it was weeks longer until AMD even acknowledged it. And then it's been another month until they've rolled out a fix or even longer than that. But they've finally got there. I think the community has spoken, the community has raised the issue through uh, Reddit, through social media, and they've eventually acknowledged it and they have fixed it, which is great because I was worried it was going to be a hardware issue which they couldn't resolve easily. So this is great news, guys. Many thanks for everyone who's been keeping me updated about all this because I've not always got the updates as quickly as I wanted to. So many thanks to everyone who's uh, been suggesting fixes and other solutions to try and get around this, but it looks like finally we have a fix to this. So many thanks for watching guys. Good luck to everyone who has an AMD motherboard and I'd love to hear your opinion on this, your thoughts on this down below in the comment area. So until next time guys, take care.